Quick test to see what a clap sounds like. Today, one of them fell. I recently got married and moved to Texas. So now that we're in a new place, new location, new closet, I decided I want to absolutely make over this booth and revamp my YouTube channel and get it going again. Welcome to my new voiceover booth. It's a closet. So a little bit of backstory, at the beginning of 2020 when COVID first hit, I was like, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel about voice acting. Mostly because I was bored in my apartment, wasn't working as much, locked down, and I was like, this is a really good time to practice voiceover, to practice my craft, and I figured that was a really good way to do it. However, then I started working full time and I got super busy and it just kind of got put on the back burner. But then I got married, moved, and quit my day job. So now this is all I'm doing and I decided I'm gonna take you on a little journey to see how we transformed this normal walk-in closet into a usable voiceover booth. After taking some time and doing a lot of research in how to make acoustic panels, how to acoustically treat a room, I realized that there is a lot of science that goes into this. And y'all, I am not a scientist. I'm not an acoustic engineer. I'm not an audio engineer. I'm not a, a I'm an actor, okay? When I saw like how physics heavy a lot of this acoustic treatmenting can be, I was like, I'm gonna do about half of that. So what you see in this video is gonna be a little bit of budget friendly and sound friendly. I want it to sound really good, but I don't have a whole bedroom to turn into a studio and I don't have a million dollars to spend on this. Luckily, I have a wonderful husband who's very handy. He's more like engineer brained and he helped, or not even helped me, he built panels for me. Um, he has been absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna take you on a little journey of how we took this normal walk-in closet and made it into a usable voiceover space. Okay, so we haven't moved in any of our stuff yet. And here is the closet before. And as you can see, there's hardwood floors, no carpeting. So it's gonna be super reverby in there, just like it is in here. Um, so let's go check out what it sounds like right now. So here is our space before. Um, as you can hear, there's a ton of reverb. Uh, it's very echoey. It sounds like you're in a small enclosed space. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. So the first thing that we had to do was measure out all the space that we had so we knew how much room we were working with to put up the acoustic panels before going to Le Home Depot. While we were there, we got all the supplies that we would need to make the acoustic panels. Now, if you need an in-depth video of how we made these, I will link that down below. We pretty much just copied everything that guy did. So we just finished our haul at Home Depot, got all the necessary materials that we need. Um, so you might be wondering, why am I even doing a voiceover space in a closet in the first place? Well, first of all, it's because we're in a small space. It's a one bedroom apartment. Um, and I don't think my dear husband would appreciate it if I did recording in our bedroom. Uh, so the closet is our option. So it's pretty common rumor in the acting industry, specifically in voiceover, uh, that a closet is like a decent starter space for voiceover. But after doing a lot of research, um, I've found that at least like, you know, sound engineers and things will tell you that a closet is not the best space just because uh, there's a lot of parallel walls, which you get a lot of like reverb going back and forth. And there's a lot of corners, which kind of the same problem. Um, but since it's the space we have and we're on a budget, uh, we are going to do the best that we can to dampen the sound so that you don't get those parallel wall sound bouncing all over the place as much because you have um, a lot of sound cushioning and dampening. Okay, this is a little bit late. This is after we've already bought the fiberglass, but I wanted to test out this room with the door closed. Oh, and you can hear that Sam is drilling right now. It's just got a very boxy sound to it very wooden box kind of sound. Um, it's got some reverb, so I'm probably going to pad the doors up as well. came and put all of our stuff in and now the closet's full of junk. So we've got this very um, cheap 
bedding. This is like bed padding. Um, so this is kind of akin to that black padding that you'll see some people use. It's very cheap. It's very thin. It's not the best, which is why we also have acoustic paneling, but it's good for kind of reinforcing those spaces that we can't put acoustic paneling into. And also on some of our larger spaces like the ceiling, we are going to use this plus carpet padding. Look at my new headphones, aren't they beautiful? Okay, so as you can see, we have everything moved into our closet. We got clothes, we got junk on the shelf, stuff kind of in the room, padding it, cushioning it. So the only thing that we don't have right now is we don't have the acoustic paneling up and we don't have anything cushioning the ceilings. But I wanted to do a quick comparison of what the room sounds like with carpeting and clothes in it and a little bit of cheap foam padding on the shelves versus what it sounds like when it has the acoustic panels, the cushioning on the ceilings with the carpet padding, the whole nine yards. So like I said, if you want an in-depth how-to of how we built these acoustic panels, click on the link down below. He gives a wonderful description of all of the supplies that you need and how exactly to build it. Essentially what we did is we screwed together the frames and then we put the insulation inside, which we used mineral wool and then we covered it all in fabric. I'll show you. <laughs> Now please, when you are drilling these in, use some strong, sturdy bolts. We use the ones with the little loop at the end, but make sure you screw them in at an angle, because as you will see in this video, we failed to do that and it caused some problems. Then a huge ice storm hit Texas and we didn't have power for a couple days, which is why we're doing this next part with the lights off. We layered our yellow bed foam with this carpet padding in order to cushion the ceilings. Also, I'm really short, so I'm using a tennis racket to hold it up. So I noticed that there was this huge gap in the door, so I got one of those insulator things at Walmart, slid it under there, and there was still a really big gap. So I got one of these pool noodly things and stuck it in there and it seemed to do the trick. And we finally had my finished closet, my beautiful acoustically treated space with six total acoustic panels, four of which were large, the other two of which were small, and it was perfect. And then this happened. Today, one of them fell onto the ground, this big guy here, and um, it's a really good thing it didn't fall onto my mic, otherwise that I would have been livid. Um, so we need to figure out a way to secure these onto the wall better so they don't fall and hurt somebody or my equipment. So we screwed cork onto the ends and put the bolts in diagonally so that instead of looking like this, they would look more like this and be flat and wouldn't fall off. At the end of it all, we have a beautiful, usable voiceover space. I love the way it sounds. I'm really happy with uh, what I'm hearing on the mic. Does it look awesome? I mean, not really. It's a closet still, but who cares? I'm not a music producer that's like bringing in bands to come record vocals. You know, this is for me. I'm the only one who's gonna see it and all of you guys. Um, but this blue curtain covering all of my tacky clothes definitely helps. Makes it look, you know, a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer for YouTube video. But what I really needed from this closet was for it to be functional. So I can do auditions, I can make my reels, and I can even send in projects from my home studio. It sounds professional, it sounds clean. And I'm so excited to start using it. So now that we're done, we're gonna give it a go and see how the sound compares from beginning, middle, and end. Quick test to see what a clap sounds like. The door of the closet is closed. The door of the closet is closed. I'm happy, man. Like, I'm excited to start doing demos. I'm excited to start doing new stuff. This was pretty dang cost efficient. Considering all the things that we made, uh, it was pretty cheap. Our expenses were the wood for the frames, the insulation, 
uh, tools, which we already had, fabric to put over the panels, cheap yellow foam, shower curtains, carpet padding from Home Depot, and the rug, which we already had. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button for more videos. I think I said youthful. Youthful voiceover buff. Youthful voiceover buff. Ah. I do! <laughs> Content is for influencers. I ain't influencing nobody to it. You said. <laughs> Golly, why was that so difficult? <laughs>